And you know what that means. That's right, it's Wednesday, and it's time for yet another edition of Sip and Snack. And I know I'm behind, I'm aware. It's been really long, long week. So that's the reason I'm kind of behind. And I had to make sure I had every bit of the content that we're going to have later this week. But I thought that I would take these two days, both being today and tomorrow, and we're going to go back in time a little bit. We're going to go back in time. Let's bring that back from uh, Sip and Snacks of Old for all you... uh, Sip and Snack fans of the past remember that reference I would make all the time when I've said that comment. Now, basically, I've done a lot of sodas on this channel. We've done a lot of energy drinks on this channel. One thing I don't believe we've ever tackled before is Kool-Aid, randomly enough. I always talk about the the whole thing about drink the Kool-Aid, things like that. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to wheeze the juice in exactly a cool way. So needless to say, let's go back to the 80s, uh, back uh, when I was a child. And something that is now back in stores, and these are the Retro Jammers. This is Purple Saurus Rex. So yeah, these are 100% zero juice. Ah, I know what you mean. So yeah, there's no juice in these whatsoever. And there's five servings per container. And let's see, there's... So you do one pouch is 35 calories, no total fat, 15 milligrams of sodium, eight grams of total carbohydrates, including eight grams of total sugars, eight grams of added sugars, and no protein. And it does include vitamin C. Yeah, it's got the really cool Kool-Aid man circular maze. Look, join the dark order. Anyway, um, I think it made sense in my head. So yeah, it's got 55% less sugar than leading regular sodas. And it does say on giant letters, vitamin source. Oh, <laughs> excellent source of vitamin C. And it has all the, the cool 1980s style pictures. These are the retro jammers. We've done jammers before, but I believe, or maybe not. Either way, this is something we're gonna do today. So we're gonna open this up and I'm going to figure out how we're gonna open this up. So pop it open. And the Kool-Aid jammers are going to be in, of course, the pouches. So it's like we're back in school again. <laughs> so this is going to be Purple Source Rex. It's got the straw and everything. It's, other than the picture on the front, it's very unassuming. Like if someone just handed you this, it's like, here, drink this. Uh, they you would know exactly what it was. So we're gonna try it and see what it tastes like. So. So it tells you to insert straw here. Instructions needed for me every once in a while. So we're gonna pop this open and we're going to try it and see what it tastes like. So, find that and perfect. Let's get my school on. Let's go back to the 80s. They don't call it Purple Saurus Rex for nothing. It's basically grape lemonade, just from tasting it. Um, actually kind of brings me back to, um, to Epcot when I was at the Light Lab at, at the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival in 2018. And I remember drinking a frozen beverage that was a grape lemonade. And this is what that reminds me of. So yeah, this is really good. I definitely enjoy it. Overpowering but not too overpowering grape taste, and the lemonade definitely makes it work. I want this in a, like a Slurpee or an Icy variation like yesterday. It's really good, really tasty, and I enjoy it. That'll be definitely something I'll be drinking on the regular. If I hold it in my hands, maybe, just maybe, it will actually make the thumbnail work this time. That's gonna be your sip and snack for today, and I know what you're saying, Owen, Usually you do both of them together. Do you not have it? Well, I did mention there was a theme. I did mention there was a video for Thursday. Guess what? Rockadile Reds tomorrow. So yeah, we're gonna get our 90s on after we got our 80s on today. So if you like these videos and if you have any ideas for Sip and Snack or Versus and the other regular segments on this network, feel free, shoot me an email, Disney at gmail.com. Or if you can want to, you can follow me on Twitter at Disney. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys and girls out there for watching. And until tomorrow, boys and girls, that's all I got to say about that.